Hey and welcome year 10 students. Today we are looking at the volumes of similar shapes. So similar uh, concept <laughs> uh, to what we were doing yesterday. Um, let me just start by reminding you, let's say we've got uh, something that's uh, one centimeter and we enlarge it by two. So this is our length, ratio of lengths. Okay, so let's say we've got something like this. This is one centimeter. Now if we enlarge it, it's now going to be two. Now let's say um, we've got a one centimeter here, so it's one by one. And now we've got, when we enlarge it, a two by two. That's what we did yesterday, similar areas. Now what we do with volumes is now we've got a third dimension. Maybe I'll get rid of that one there because that's a bit manky. Let's just move it over here. Okay. And then we go in one, so we've got this third dimension here. And obviously, when we go into the third dimension here, um, we're going to we're going to multiply that by two. So that's also two. Now, what you'll notice, the areas we found would be one to two squared. Uh, now the volumes, since we've got three dimensions, it's going to be 1 to 2 cubed. So the volume of this first one is 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1. And the next one is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So we'd have a 1 to 8 ratio of volumes if our length uh, ratio is 1 to 3, a 2. Now let's get right into the exercise. Uh, okay, so with the first one here, maybe I'll just move these a bit up so we can... Oh, it doesn't like that. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, so um, we've got a small one. It's x to 600. Let's do the lengths first. That's probably what we should do. So we'll go length. The ratio of lengths is 5 to 10, which is the same as 1 to 2. And therefore, the volumes ratio should be 1 cubed to 2 cubed which is actually 1 to 8. Now, if that is the case, that means we can now go, this is the same as x to 600. That's, those are our volumes. And therefore, how have we gone uh, from here to here? Well, we've times uh, by 600 over 8. And so we're going to times this by uh, 600 over 8. Now what is 600 over 8? Oh. It's 75. So x is equal to 75. Okay, now the next one, uh, what have we got here? We've got length, uh, or, yeah, so length, the ratio is 6 to 10, which is uh, divide by 2, so 3 to 5. Um, now, we can say here that is the same as 1 to 5 thirds, so I've divided both sides by 5 thirds. That means that our volume ratio is going to be 1 to, or 1 cubed, to 5 thirds cubed. Now, we happen to know that the small one is 100. And we need to know the large one. Now, how do we get from here to here? We times by 100. So we're going to times 5 thirds cubed, uh, sorry, 5 over 3 cubed, yep, yeah, uh, by 100. Now, what does that give us? So 5 over 3 to the power of 3 times 100. And this is giving me, uh, now let's do it to three significant figures, 463. And it would be centimeters. Cubed. Now this time in the, the third one we are working backwards because we uh, don't know the length ratio. So I'll just move this a little bit up here so I've got a bit more room. Uh, so length ratio, now that we've got 6 uh, which is the smaller pyramid 2x. And we know that the ratio of the volumes is 16 
254. Now, which is 1, uh, 2, now what is that? 54 divided, well, yeah, yeah, 54 divided by 16 is uh, 27 over 8. Okay, now, uh, if we cube root those, we'll get the ratio of um, the uh, length. So I'm just going to cube root it. Now, if I cube root two, uh, 8, I get 2, and if I cube root 27, I get 3. Um, so that's the ratio of volumes. So now I'm going to use this here to help me up here. So my ratio is 1 to 3 over 2. Now to get from 1 to 6, I'm multiplying by 6. And to get to x, I multiply by 6. Now 6 times 3 over 2, that's like 6. 3 is 18 over 2, which is 9. And so therefore x is equal to 9, and that would be my answer there. Now a couple of word problems. I think there's a few of these for you. I'm just going to do a couple. So the first one is these buckets. And you can see that uh, length uh, ratio here, or height ratio, is 15 small bucket to 25 big bucket. And that's 3 to 5, and we could say 1 to 5 thirds. Now, uh, well, the, the volume ratio is equal to, uh, well, the larger bucket holds 10 liters. Now, um, we know, therefore, uh, because we know this here, we know that the ratio of volumes must be 1 to 5, uh, 1 cubed to 5 thirds cubed. And we've got to go, all right, well, what's uh, 5 cubed? Uh, so that's 125. Uh, 5 over 3 cubed is 125 over, whoops, 27. So that's our ratio in volumes. So I've got to go, how do I get from here to 10? So um, I'm timesing by 54 over 25. And therefore, I'm timesing this by 54 over 25. Um, or 2.16. So uh, therefore, x is equal to 2.16 liters. Now, um, I'll delete that. And now we're going to talk about the egg. Well, we know the uh, the lengths. Uh, we only would know one of the lengths. So we've got x of the small to 8 of the big. And then the volumes are such that we have uh, 50, because mass is to do with the volume, so we're going to just go like 50 to 70 here. And that's like 5 to 7. And I'm going to divide both sides by 5, so I get 1 to 7 over 5. Um, and I could write that as 1 cubed 2, and then cube root of 7 over 5 cubed. Okay, that's the ratio. And therefore my ratio of um, lengths must be this. Now I go, how do I get from uh, here to 8? Well, I go 8 divided by, and then I'm going to put my cube root sign over my 7 over 5, and that's giving me 7.15. So I'm going to times 1 by that, so I get so, it's, so x is equal to 7.15. Now, I know this is a bit tricky. Uh, you are, if the teacher who is supervising you is uh, okay with this, I'm happy for you to work uh, quietly in pairs. Um, perhaps uh, use the seating arrangements that we have been using, if you can uh, remember those. Otherwise, the, the teacher might need to uh, rem uh, set that up for you uh, to make sure that work is being done <laughs> in, a, in an efficient manner. Uh, if you do have any questions about this or you're getting stuck, uh, don't hesitate to email me. Um, I know we don't normally do that kind of thing, but these are special circumstances and I'm totally happy to help if you are getting stuck. All right, guys, God bless you.